Chicago's mayor now issuing an emergency declaration after a surge of new migrant arrivals in the city. The mayor is hoping to get federal and state money to help with the crisis. Hundreds of families have been living out of police stations and city buildings. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is live in our control room. Marissa, for the first time, police are talking about what this has been like for them. Yeah, Joe and Erica, that's right. We do know now more than 70 migrant families are staying at the District 12 police station alone. We had the opportunity to hear some of their stories, but all also hear from police who say right now they're at a breaking point. Dozens of families sit outside of the 12th District Police Station on the near west side. Everything they own, pillows, blankets, strollers, stacked up on the sidewalk. Bueno, aquí llevamos dos semanas. Johan Torres from Venezuela says he's been at the 12th District for two weeks. His family, including three daughters and his niece, are all here with him. Ya no tenemos donde vivir, pues. He says every morning they're told to leave the station until 6 p.m. At night, they're allowed inside, sleeping along with other families in tight quarters. They haven't taken a shower since they got here. Now they wait for help from the city for a bed of their own. Está complejo. No está bien. It's been a complicated journey for Jomala Albeo and her family. Like many, she came here for a better life. Back home in Venezuela, she says she has no rights. She's been told there's no shelter space here in Chicago for mothers and their kids to stay together. But now they need medicine, sleeping bags, and food. And now it's just ballooned um, ex exponentially way out of control. Sergeant James Calvino with the Chicago Police Sergeants Association says a few migrants trickling into the police station has now become dozens at every district. Station floors are at capacity. I saw a young boy or girl, two and a half, three years old maybe, laying face first on the dirty terrazzo floor. Now he's demanding answers from the city and state and better conditions for these families. He says stations are not equipped to handle this and his officers aren't either. How disruptive is this to police work? It's, it's a nightmare, without a doubt. We need to find um, temporary housing um, that, that's actually adequate for humans and not, you know, barn animals that, that we're treating these people like. So some of these families have been living off of donations alone from refugee organizations, volunteers, and the police department themselves. Mayor Lori Lightfoot says she expects the next influx of migrants to arrive here in Chicago on buses as early as this evening. We're live in the control room. Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Yeah, Marissa, thank you.